There's a big problem in software that will affect every programmer at one point or another. This problem is so big and ingrained into software that not even NASA can escape it. And the problem is time. In 2013, NASA has lost contact with the Deep Impact Space Probe after a bug has caused it to go into safe mode. This caused this multi-million dollar project to wander the emptiness of space aimlessly with NASA engineers eating their fingernails and pulling late nights trying to figure out what has caused this issue and how they could solve it. I struggled to debug my Hello World program in Python and these engineers had to figure out why their craft that is millions of miles away was unresponsive. NASA engineers quickly realized what the issue was when they they looked at the internal clock which reported its last time us this number of seconds after midnight January 1st 2000 before they completely lost contact with the probe so this number may not mean much to you but if you multiply the number by 10 and then convert to binary you get 1 followed by 32 zeros or 2 to the power of 32 in binary you see originally the programmers were using a 32-bit number to calculate the time for the probe this meant that once it hit 2013 it caused the clock to overflow setting its time back to 2000 causing all sorts of issues fortunately the nasa team were able to push a software patch to, to the probe and it has since completed its mission successfully. You might think that since you aren't dealing with time on a daily basis, it probably does not affect you, but time is a really hard problem to solve and we still don't have a good solution for it. For example, in C++ as well as many other languages, when you request the current time, it will give you the number of seconds that has passed since January 1st, 1970, which is the Unix epoch. This is an issue because then you have to ask, how do you represent time before 1970? If your system is 32-bit or even 16-bit for the smaller computers like Raspberry Pis, this is a real issue because it means that their buffer has a high chance of overflowing in our lifetime, meaning that they can completely go down. This is the exact issue that people were thinking about in the 2000s and now a creeping up year of 2038 is on our way. 2038 is a really important year because all of Unix 32-bit based systems will have their internal clocks overflow unless we do something about it. Whilst you might think that this is not much of an issue because most computers are 64-bit now, you'll be shocked to find out just how many microcontrollers and smaller computers which are widely used in our daily lives such as coffee makers, washing machines or scaringly traffic lights or planes could potentially fail when the clock strikes midnight. Whilst this is not likely to happen since the engineers are well aware of the issue. There is still a chance that not all the places will catch the issue which could lead to things going very badly. What's your opinion on all of this? Do you think that this is a very serious issue which we should parent for now? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure to like the video if you've enjoyed it, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.